Hi, this is Daryl Barnes with Barnes Basics, and for a few minutes we're going to get ready to do kinematics equations. These are some physics calculations that can be used to calculate movement, speed and velocity and the like. And I'm going to explain to you how to configure your TI-84 and your TI Inspire so that we can have a good experience as we work the problems in this playlist. As well, I would like you to download a significant figures chart from the internet, print something out on that, a uh, conversions chart, in other words, a metric to metric and uh, maybe a metric to English, English to metric, 1,000 meters is equal to one kilometer, 1,609 meters is in one mile, that kind of chart. And then a kinematics formula chart. So something that would have a full range of kinematics equation. The one that we're going to work tonight, uh, the very first one that we're going to do is a speed. It's a speed is equal to distance divided by time. Then you can go to velocity is equal to distance divided by time. And then the average velocity and then on and on it goes. There's several equations that you'll find if you look up kinematics formulas. So we're going to start out with the TI-84 and configure that one first. Turn your TI-84 on at the bottom left and then hit mode at the top left of the keypad. And then I want you to use this navigation pad uh, to go to normal and hit enter. Mine is actually blinking on normal at this point, so hit enter. And then I want you to navigate down to float six and tab over to that with your nav pad and hit enter. And then navigate to degree and hit enter. I want you to go a little bit further down this page to answers. And I want you to put this in decimals so go to DEC and hit enter and let's go to second the blue key at the top left of the keypad and then mode and that will complete the modifications at this point I have across the top of my screen normal fix six des real degree and MP that's what I have at this point the the normal will not put your information into scientific notation. The float six will give you six digits in the answer, and then we can kind of round those off, off according to our significant figures chart. In algebra, we need things configured to degrees and not radians, and then when we use uh, decimals, that will report the answer in decimals and not in a fraction. So we're going to test and see what we come out with. We're going to just multiply 5,000 times 5,000. We know that 5 times 5 is 25. That's going to have an extra digit in it. There are six zeros. So it's going to be, let's see how this rolls, 5,000 times 5,000. And hit Enter. And we get 25 with 6 zeros behind. That is correct. And that would actually convert to 2.5 times 10 to the 7th if we went to a scientific number. Okay, very good. That works for what we need for now. Let's look at the TI Inspire cast. So I want you to hit on in the top right. Make sure you hit on again uh, because that will take us home, on and home. And then I want you to use the navigation pad to go to the settings, which is in the kind of the bottom uh, middle right of the screen. And we can hit enter to open that. And then we are going to document settings. And then we can hit enter to open that. And next, we're going to navigate, navigate to display digits. And mine is already on float six, so I'm going to leave that one alone. Navigate to angle and make that degrees, so go down to angle. And you can click on this middle button in the middle of the nav pad and just use your up and down keys to select degree and then hit enter. 
and then we're going to navigate to exponential format which is the next one down and we want that to be in normal mode it may already be in normal mode so if it is just leave it alone we are going to navigate to the calculation mode and pick approximate so go to calculation mode and click that and it will drop down the menu uh, click or select approximate hit enter and then let's navigate to OK at the very bottom right just nav pad down 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 and it will eventually get to the OK and then hit enter now on the main view screen of the TI Inspire we are not going to use the scratch pad calculate because all of these document settings that we did don't affect that so we're going to use the nav pad and go down to this one that has uh, multiply, divided, minus, and plus. So we're going to click on that one and open a page. And so we're going to enter 5,000 times 5,000. 5,000 multiplied by 5,000. And again, we're expecting to have a 25 with six zeros behind it. Hit enter. And this one gave me a scientific number. So let's go back. Let's look at this again. Now I got 2.5 times e to the seventh. That is correct, but I must not have my settings correct. So let's go back to let's go back to five settings. Let's click on that document settings, and it says exponential format normal. Okay, so. Uh, we can hit escape. If you want to get out of something, uh, just hit the escape button, the undo button, and that will do. And then we could go back down to this page. We could just nav pad back down and open this page again. And then uh, it opened a new page. So if we hit control and nav pad left, it'll take us back to the page that we just left. So apparently for big numbers, your TI Inspire will automatically convert to a scientific number. Another thing that we can do while we're here is if we hit control and menu, that's not correct. Let's escape that one. If we hit menu, thank you, and then go down to number, then we can choose number one, convert to decimal, and it will say answer tab decimal and if you hit enter it still goes to scientific notation okay so we're going to be dealing with scientific notation on our ti inspire good enough